got some breaking news here. Got some breaking news. People doing dumb stuff out there on the road. And that's the reason why you subscribe to the channel to see the dumb stuff. Oh, we got some dumb stuff here. Anytime you get hit by a friggin' train. Yes, that's what we're about to see. Let's pull it up here. Let's pull it up. There we go. Now, we're going to watch this a couple times. We're going to play it in full, and then we're going to dissect this driver uh, and what he's doing, or what he's not doing. Here we go. Let's play the footage. He's, he's stuck. He's got to reach ripping the pole off. Go, guys. You got to. Oh my god, he is gonna get hit. How, why are, how are you not just going? There he goes! There he's gone! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank god, it looks like he's okay. Oh boy. Shame on the mess. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's take a look at this, okay? Shall we? Shall we look at this? Let's go back to the beginning. All right, so in this situation, you're coming up to some tracks, okay? All right, you're going. Come up to some traction, and you, but you're turning right there. You're, you're turning. Now, obviously, guys, when he's making this turn, I think before he makes it to the tracks, I think the red uh, lights and the, the bell were probably ringing. Because if you guys know, the um, I think, if I recall... That the the lights and the bells usually start dinging before the arms go down. Maybe a few seconds. Maybe two, three, four seconds. Something like that. I could be totally wrong on that. But I can say this. That usually when those things start lighting up and all that kind of stuff. I usually have time to stop. Have time to stop. He's making a right. Okay. Looking down the tracks, okay? So he's parallel with the tracks going from left to right on your screen right here. Okay, so basically he's... <laughs> I'm trying to... He's basically he's over there looking looking uh, that way. No, that way. <laughs> Whatever. No, you know, you, know, you know, that way. They're both looking that way. Anyway, he's looking down the tracks, okay? He's looking down the tracks. You can't sit there and tell me this guy did not see the train coming before he made that turn. And even while he was making the turn, you would sit there and, well, oh, these lights are on. Okay, and I see a train. Here's the deal. When you're driving in a situation like this, okay, you shouldn't have your radio up on full blast listening to Metallica. Okay, you shouldn't be all doing that. What you should be doing is having maybe one window down. A lot of times when I'm in the town or whatever, I have my passenger side window down because you're hearing for things. And that's one of the things you're going to hear for. All right, so so first of all, should he have, could he have stopped before those arms st started going down? I do believe so. Now... 
now he's now he's caught. Now you see those arms are down and it's in between his his trailer and his truck back there. Okay? You're they're pretty much it's already damaged. You already damaged it, okay? You already have. Now there's a car right here. Okay, that car shouldn't be right there, but you know he's right there anyway. Now if I was this car, this little white little SUV looking thing, looking Ford, um, I think that's a Ford. He shouldn't be right there. He should be backing up, trying to get this 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 truck some room. Okay. Now the cross arms are down. He's got one of them stuck right there. Okay. Let's turn on some some uh. See if when he hits. See in this situation, he sh he's stuck now. If you look, let me see if I can blow this up a little bit because a lot of you guys may say, "Well, he's stuck. His landing gear is stuck." I don't think his landing gear is stuck at all. I don't think his landing gear is stuck, and I don't think. I don't see his tandems uh, being stuck on that yellow pole there either. Now there may be something else, but if you if you watch this, you could tell that the guy actually starts moving forward. Watch. Okay, obviously this guy has to know. I hear the train. Hear the train. Why are, how are you not just going? Yeah. Well, anyway, so let's let's go let's let's go back. Let's go back. Clearly, he's not stuck. Clearly, he's not stuck. Watch him as he realizes he's hearing it. He's seeing it. He's not freaking out. I don't guess. I don't know. To me, I would just here's here's the thing. Here's what you sh this guy should be doing right now. This is what he should be doing. All right, you've already damaged the arms, the 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 railroad crossing arms. You've already damaged them. Just take them with you. Get out of the way, okay? And take them with you. All right, you're already in a heap of trouble already, but it's about to get worse for you. There he goes. Now he's realizing it, but it's too late now. It's too late that he's going to sit there and, well, he's going to just... Well, I guess he's waiting for this car to move. Okay, you don't see that in this shot. Well, let's see if I can move my head. There you go. You can kind of sit, sit there and see it a little bit. But um, he's not... Look, look at him. Look at him here. Like, there, you could easily, to me, go. You can make this turn. Even despite that car being right there, you could go and... Take your wheel and turn it to the right. Okay? But he's not. Just get out of the way. See? This is totally 100% preventable. This is what makes this guy a bonehead. Is a, this crap right here. He should have just... First of all, he shouldn't have made that turn. Okay? And then... When he realized, okay, maybe he got his front tires up on the tracks and you see that, oh, something's about to happen. You, you, he could have backed up. Watch. Is there someone behind him? Let's back up. There's someone directly behind him. No, I don't see anybody directly behind him. No, he could have backed up. I think he could have backed up, but he, what he should have done, especially after the arms do go down, he should have just taken the arms out and got off the tracks. Let's watch this. See, I, he's not stuck at all. Look at him. There's no, there's nothing. There's the landing gear's not stuck. You can clearly see. Let me see if I can blow this up even more. I hate it when people film like this. Um, you know, t t listen. Turn your phone sideways like that when you film. Okay, just do that. But you can tell. Look right here. See, there is definitely some air right there so his landing gear is not stuck i don't see his um 
anything making his uh, trailer stuck back here. Because watch him. He's going to start to be able to move. But it's already too late when he starts to move, though. It's already too late. Just go. He should have gone. He's he's waiting on this car. How are you not just going? Oh my gosh. There's no excuse for this. There's none whatsoever. None. If any of you guys are going to sit there and make an excuse for this guy, make an excuse, then you're a bonehead. Um. Yeah, you're a bonehead yourself, I think. Like, there's just absolutely no excuse for this. Eh, you know, he just goes ahead. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and pull into this little driveway over here and get out of the way. Just go get out. I'm going to go pull over here. Get out of traffic because this is not bad. Oh, my gosh. The level of stupidity. Wow. See, let's watch this one more time, full length. Go, guys. You got to. See, now he's moving. Oh my god, he is going to get hit. How, why are, how are you not just going? Oh my gosh. See, I almost guarantee you, almost, I almost guarantee you that this guy is going to sit there and blame this little old white four wheeler for being in his way. But. He could definitely make that turn without that that four wheeler. Was that four wheeler in the way? Yes, but it's not the four wheeler's fault. It is not the four wheeler's fault. So new drivers, you know, new drivers coming into this and thinking, oh, what if this happens? Listen, this is so rare, and you have to be brain dead for this to happen. Okay, you have to be brain dead. Pay attention to your surroundings. When you're in this situation, you're in a town, maybe you just made a delivery somewhere. I don't know what this guy was doing. Maybe you're going to a delivery. Maybe you're stuck or whatever. I don't know what this guy is, but but I've been in towns just like this before. I've been uh, I've crossed tracks in this situation before. I've never got hit by a train. Okay, I've never got stuck on a track. Okay, usually... When you have a, uh, uh, say if there was a track that stuck up, you always see those that have a hump and you have those tracks up there. There's always a sign that says either says no trucks or it's got a high, you know, or, or, you know, you know, just be careful. Now, most of the time you'll see that with, you know, low boys and stuff like that. But this right here is totally preventable. What I suggest for the new drivers to do is to sit there and, well, pay attention to your surroundings. Turn off your, your, you know, your good times radio. Turn off your YouTube or whatever. Pay attention to what's going on. Roll down that window and listen for stuff. And, um, but, but think ahead. Leave yourself an out. And, oh my gosh. The, this is the dumbest thing in trucking. One of them. I said what dumbest. One of them. Like, you know, it's one thing if the cross arms didn't work, the warning devices didn't work, but obviously it did. When you're in this situation, say if you do get in a situation, uh, point of no return and here comes a train, go ahead and take out those arms. And, and you know, yeah, you're going to get a ticket. Yeah, you're going to get in trouble. But... 
You're not being hit by a train, which is a lot worse than getting a ticket. Okay? More than likely, this guy has um, you know, lost his trucking career. Okay? Because once this gets on your deck, it's good luck finding a job. And, um, but if, you know, if you, if you damage cross arm, you know, yeah, it'll be on your deck on your MVR or whatever, but, uh, you know, you're still hireable. You're still hireable. This makes you not hireable. Insurance companies do not want this. Trucking companies do not want this. And so if you're this guy, oh, I'm just going to go pull into the dry or into this little gas station right here. Because, you know, I'm going to try to get out of the way. But look at your trailer. You don't want that kind of paperwork. Anyway, we got Bonehead Truckers of the Week coming at you tomorrow. Thanks for watching this video. Had to get this out here today because this won't be in tomorrow's video. Because tomorrow's video is already done. Holler at you guys later. Thanks for watching.